March 24th, decreasing for his purpose. He must increase, but I must decrease. John 3, verse 30. If you become a necessity to someone else's life, you are out of God's will. As a servant, your primary responsibility is to be a friend of the bridegroom. John 3, verse 29. When you see a person who is close to grasping the claims of Jesus Christ, you know that your influence has been used in the right direction. And when you begin to see that person in the middle of a difficult and painful struggle, don't try to prevent it, but pray that his difficulty will grow even ten times stronger until no power on earth or in hell could hold him away from Jesus Christ. Over and over again, we try to be amateur providences in someone's life. We are indeed amateurs, coming in and actually preventing God's will and saying, this person should not have to experience this difficulty. Instead of being friends of the bridegroom, our sympathy gets in the way. One day, that person will say to us, You are a thief. You stole my desire to follow Jesus, and because of you, I lost sight of him. Beware of rejoicing with someone over the wrong thing, but always look to rejoice over the right thing. The friend of the bridegroom rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. John 3, verse 29 to 30. This was spoken with joy, not with sadness. At last they were to see the bridegroom. And John said this was his joy. It represents a stepping aside, an absolute removal of the servant, never to be thought of again. Listen intently with your entire being until you hear the bridegroom's voice in the life of another person, and never give any thought to what devastation, difficulties, or sickness it will bring. Just rejoice with godly excitement that his voice has been heard. You may often have to watch Jesus Christ wreck a life before he saves it. See Matthew 10, verse 34.